Hello YouTubers. Um, I wanted to share another video with you. Uh, this time it's going to be on the Glock trigger and specifically how it works. The reason why I wanted to share this with you was because uh, I like to understand um, how things work before I start replacing parts and you know doing any sort of uh, modifications to the firearm. Um, this includes polishing or anything like that. I, I just wanted to understand exactly what happens every time I, I fire this pistol and how this trigger operates, right? So we all know that there is a trigger, right? That's connected to a trigger bar. You can see the trigger bar running all along here, all the way to the back, and it ends in this cross-like fixture, right? in the back. There's also a connector sitting in here, right? And I'll show you this on a different uh, trigger that I pulled out of my Glock 26. So that's that connector and that's that trigger bar, right? Runs all the way back and it usually, we see it sitting right here under the connector, right here, okay? <clears throat> When you're uh, making modifications, you'll be probably polishing everything around here. You'll maybe be replacing this uh, spring, the trigger spring right here. Um, and you're most likely gonna be replacing this connector right here, right? Um, we all know, hopefully, uh, that the connectors uh, can reduce trigger pull or trigger trigger weight sorry uh, can reduce trigger weight or increase trigger weight um, and all of that comes from the angle of this little ramp right here okay so the more parallel the ramp I guess the closer it is to to being parallel to just the top of this uh, top of the surface basically the easier it will be to pull the trigger because at that point it's just easy to pull it back and it'll slide smoother right down okay following that ramp if if the ramp is more perpendicular to this axis obviously it'll be harder to pull the trigger back and push push it down at the same time right so we all know about this we also know that the connector when you place it in will not sit flush okay it'll actually stick out on this side it'll stick out this way okay there is a reason for that do not try to correct it and i'll explain why uh, in a little bit so so when we disassemble the pistol uh, the reason why I wanted to understand how it works was because I couldn't figure out how a firing pin would actually catch that surface, that searing surface right here in the back, okay? That's what the firing pin catches, is this surface right here, that, okay? <clears throat> so I couldn't figure out how it would ever catch it because it sits so low, right? And uh, also, I couldn't figure out what resets the trigger, right? So this is what this video is for. <clears throat> when I started looking at the slide, hopefully you can see, uh, obviously, the side of the slide that goes over this is this side, okay? And this is, this protrusion is what uh, activates the connector, okay? that protrusion right here on the slide. So as it passes the connector arm right here, okay, what happens is uh, normally the firing pin or the striker, <clears throat> when, when, the, uh, when the trigger bar is low, it'll not catch, right? There's nothing to catch, basically. I mean, right now I'm kind of freehanding it, right? That's why you see it make contact, but really it's not going to make any contact, okay? So as the slide, as this portion of the slide passes over the connector, 
it pushes this arm in and you'll see what happens to the trigger uh, bar right now as I'm doing that as I'm pu pushing on this I'm pushing it that way see the trigger bar jumped up right and now this surface is raised and now the firing pin will actually catch it I'll show you that <clears throat> at the same time when the slide comes back and the firing pin catches it the firing pin is what pulls the trigger bar forward which actually pushes the trigger out right so then when does the reset happen and you'll see that what allowed the trigger bar to come up was that the connector is now pushed pushed that way and you can actually see the trigger bar that's actually um, sitting on the side of the connector now on the on, on the side of that ramp okay so <clears throat> when the firing pin continues to push the fire the trigger bar forward not, note what happens here right here with the connector and the trigger bar you'll see that as we're moving the trigger bar forward at some point it'll fall the connector will snap back and the trigger ball the trigger bar will be again uh, below this uh, ramp in the back and that's your reset so at this point if I just keep the trigger or if I just keep that same um, position my trigger is now activated right so I can once again pull it back and because the ramp of the connector will force it down my trigger bar will move down releasing the striker and the striker will fly forward and the whole thing will repeat right so the slide will rack back pushing on this the trigger bar will come up the firing pin will pull it forward reset will happen and then you push the pull the trigger again and you know that's how it basically works and the reason why I'm showing you this is because nobody really that I've seen um, talking about polishing parts is talking about polishing this surface right here and that's the surface that actually makes contact with the trigger bar when your trigger uh, when your when your slide rags back and pushes on this arm your trigger bar will come up and kind of be on the side of that ramp right and if that ramp is rough you're gonna keep marring the surface you just polished this surface right here you'll keep marring it okay so uh, if you care you might also want to polish this surface right here okay and that's kind of uh, what this video is about hopefully it helps you understand better uh, <clears throat> how this trigger works and uh, when you're trying to make decisions about replacing springs for example I do have uh, this is a replacement spring this is a four pound spring on my uh, Glock 26 and that is a six pound trigger spring right there okay uh, when you're trying to replace springs you, you know and you're wondering what how do these springs interact that's exactly how they interact so the firing pin hooks up right here and then starts pulling okay and then when you pull the trigger <clears throat> the firing pin snaps forward right so this spring has to be strong enough to pull against that spring right so that's why when when somebody says uh, you shouldn't put a light firing pin spring into your Glock and uh, you know especially if you're replacing if if you're replacing this spring right here uh, for a stronger one like a six pound string 
the six pound spring works with you as you're pulling the trigger so it it's helping you pull the trigger it pulls back right if it's too strong and this one is too light this lighter spring will not in apply enough force to push the trigger all the way out to engage the trigger safety right here you want you want the trigger to come out far enough to where the safety will engage like that okay at that point the trigger will not move back unless you also apply pressure on here okay on the safety so if that if this firing pin spring is not strong enough your trigger will come out a little bit and it'll kind of stay there but your firing or your trigger safety will never engage and that's unsafe right so if you care about that uh, know why you may have an issue right what I've done to overcome it was I just took my four pound spring and uh, when it was off the firing pin spring uh, or firing pin or striker uh, I took it and just stretched it slightly and then placed it back on the firing pin and it actually did help uh, in uh, applying enough force to extend the trigger all the way uh, to re-engage the trigger safety okay so I hope this video helps you um, I just uh, like I said I like to understand things Hopefully I understood this correctly, right? Because I don't have the armor, backplate, and all that. I just had to kind of eye everything and figure it out. Um, and hopefully I did it right. So, I, I mean, I understand it right. So, if I did make a mistake somewhere, uh, please correct me. Uh, leave, leave comments, you know, criticism, whatever. Uh, it's all welcome. Okay? So, like I said... Hope this helps you. Thanks for watching. Bye.